It's the easiest thing to say there'll never be another Shane Warne because we say that about a lot of people, but there won't be. Warren. The blonde hair, the zinc, the flared trousers, the sledging, the mystery balls, the flippers, the way he played the game of cricket, he was the greatest spin bowler that's ever played the game. Yeah! Yeah! And he's got him straight away. Well, he really is a good competitor. He knew that if Australia was in strife, he looked around and said, give Warney the ball. He'd be saying, give me the ball, and something would always happen. When he was at the end of his run and he was spinning that ball from one hand into the other and he was staring you down in a packed crowd at Lords or the MCG or wherever, it was absolutely box office stuff. That's bowling, that's good clever bowling. He was the perfect guy to illustrate what cricket was about. His legacy will be the thousands and thousands and thousands of children around the world that want to bowl like Warney. If on that very rare occasion you got runs against Shane Warne, he would be the first one to knock on your dressing room door and say, blooming well, well played today, mate. That was outstanding. Ah! Got him! He enjoyed just being in the competition, whether it was actually out there on the ground or up in the commentary box. Uh, you only had to listen to half an hour of his commentary to feel how genuine he was about that art and the game itself. And that's it. Australia are the World Cup champions of 1999. I'm not sure there is a more dominant figure in my lifetime in sport. If you took one person, then Shane Warne.